hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice math olympiad uh, algebraic problem and here we have n factorial plus n equals to n cubed and we will solve this problem for the values of n so the very first thing uh, we are going to do is here in this question uh, we use the recursive method and i hope so you will know about this recursive method uh, so here I can first little bit explain this method and if you have n factorial then we break this n factorial in this form n times of n minus 1 factorial uh, and if I can uh, further uh, open this factorial uh, recursively then you will obtain n times of n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial and if we again open this one and you get n into n minus 1 n minus 2 into n minus 3 factorial so this is known as the recursive method so uh, here uh, we uh, we will just uh, open this n factorial um, up to uh, the terms of uh, n so that uh, when you open this factorial sign then uh, we get uh, the output of uh, this term uh, in this form so re uh, uh, before open this factorial first we move this plus n in the right hand side and you get n factorial equals to n cubed minus n and now we open this re uh, recursive formula and you get n times of uh, n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial and it is equals to here we take common n on both of the terms and you get n squared minus 1 and now in the next step we uh, need to take little bit simplifications on the right hand side and we obtain n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial equals to here we oh, we uh, just use the square identity here and you get its output in this form n times of n minus 1 into n plus 1 because here we use the nice square identity here I can uh, write this identity if you have a squared minus b squared it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we use this nice square identity and we get its output in this form so now you focus on both of the sides and you see that this n is cancelled by this one this n minus 1 is cancelled by this n minus 1 and we will obtain uh, the terms in this form n minus 2 factorial equals to n plus 1 and we write this n plus 1 as uh, n minus 2 plus 3 because here in the left hand side we have n minus 2 and now we, we make n minus 2 on the right hand side so that we write this n plus 1 as n minus 2 plus 3 because minus 2 plus 3 equals to plus 1 and now we substitute n minus 2 equals to y in order to convert this uh, equation uh, into the simplest form so we take y equals to n minus 2 when you uh, substitute this value in this expression uh, then we get its output in this form y factorial equals to y plus 3 and here uh, we again open the recursive series in the left hand side and we get y times of y minus 1 factorial and here we move this plus y in the left hand side and it will becomes minus y equals to 3 and you see that we have y be the common term so that you will take a common y on both of the terms and you obtain y minus 1 factorial minus 1 equals to 3 so in the next step uh, we first divide 
y on both of the sides in this form and you see that this y and y are cancelled by each other and in the left hand side you get y minus 1 factorial minus 1 equals to 3 over y and now uh, here we move this minus 1 to the right hand side and we obtain y minus 1 factorial equals to 3 over y plus 1 so now we move here uh, and now we can find the value of y first after that we move towards the value of n so here we write this expression here and uh, we have y minus 1 factorial equals to 3 over y plus 1 so now uh, we find or uh, we uh, just uh, uh, find some values which is satisfied this equation uh, so here we find these values by inspection and first we put uh, or plug y equals to 1 here so when you plug y equals to 1 on both of the sides then you obtain uh, when you put here y equals to 1 so you get 1 minus 1 is 0 factorial and in, in the right hand side you have 3 plus 1 so 0 factorial equals to 1 and 3 plus 1 is 4 so here uh, you see that 1 is not equals to 4 so uh, it is not possible and we will reject it this case and now we move towards to check y at y equals to 2 so when you substitute y equals to 2 in this expression then uh, you see here we have 2 minus 1 1 factorial in the left hand side and in the right hand side you have 3 over 2 plus 1 so you see that 1 factorial equals to 1 and 3 over 2 plus 1 uh, equals to 3 over 2 is 1.5 and plus 1 equals to 2.5 so it is again not possible so we write here it is not possible and we rejected this value and we move towards y equals to 3 so when you put y equals to 3 in the given expression here then in the left hand side you obtain 2 factorial equals to sorry we put here 3 and when you put 3 so 3 minus 1 becomes 2 factorial and in the right hand side you get 1 plus 1 and you see that 2 factorial equals to 2 and 1 plus 1 equals to 2 so this is satisfied the given question statement so y equals to 3 uh, uh, be the solution of uh, this expression so here we have y equals to 3 is the solution and now we back substitute the value of y and in the middle of the question we will take uh, our y equals to n minus 2 and here we have the value of y equals to 3 and uh, when we back substitute the value of y then you obtain n minus 2 equals to 3 and this implies that n equals to 5 so n equals to 5 be the uh, only one solution of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos